Hello guys, uh, today I want us to discuss on the supply chain management and in particular we'll look at the six rights. So for example, if you're asked, um, state the six rights, okay? So with this presentation, I'm going to look at some terminologies. So for example, we're going to look at supply chain management and how it is defined. Uh, we'll also look at the actual six rights. <coughs> if you are told to say mention, you should be able to know the six rights and then you should also be able to know how to state. So what is supply chain management? So supply chain management, um, supply chain on its own can be defined as the sequence of processes involved in production and distribution of a commodity. So everything that is involved in moving one product from one end to another. That is a supply chain okay now when you bring in um, let's say the management of this process this is now what we're calling supply chain management okay so again supply chain can also be defined as the entire system of producing and delivering a product or service so from the time of um, where you get raw materials you start producing so for example how do you make a sweet okay a packet of sweets the raw materials put in in uh, the production process to make the actual sweets the packaging and then also moving it from the uh, where it is produced to the end user okay that is a supply chain okay then what is supply chain management this is now where you adding the management component so this is a planning and management of all activities involved in sourcing procurement of a commodity from supplier to end user okay in the logistics system so whatever uh, whatever logistics for example or whatever you're going to whatever is going to be done to make sure that a product is moving from where it is being manufactured to the end user who is the customer that is a that is the supply chain management okay so in general business logistics okay this is the management of flow of things between the point of origin and the point of consumption to meet the requirements of the customer or corporation so when you put in management of the flow of things from where they are being manufactured that's the point of origin to consumption that is the end user that is the whole logistics system okay now we come to the six rights so if they say mention the six rights so the six rights are just right product right quantity right quality right place right time right cost okay and then if you were to be asked to say state the six rights okay now we know what it means to state you mention the the, the type of right and then you put as uh, you need to put as uh, a small description of what that right is okay so we're going to 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 go through the six rights and so if you're asked to say state the six rights number one right product what is the right product okay now if you are going to bring in logistic system you should be able to say right product this is when uh, people involved in the logistic system okay go and select the right product if this right product is not selected programs at a facility will not uh, run okay right quantity as the products are being selected in the right uh, they should be collected in the right quantities why to prevent overstock and to prevent expiry because if you have too many things again at the facility you won't be able to use all of them so some of them might even end up being expired then what is the right quality right quality is you need to get the right quality of the product the product that you are going to get is it the right one okay in terms of quality not where you are given maybe money and then you go to chisokone you go and buy uh 
Panadols just because they are cheap. You might find that the quality is from compromise and that will, will affect the patients. Okay, then right place. Procure your products from the right place. So right place can be in two ways. Either you're buying at the right place or you are taking the product to the right place in terms of logistics system and its delivery of goods and services. So you should be able to make sure that the product is either sent to the right place. So for example, if you have ordered a drug from the pharmacy, the pharmacy should be able to take that drug to the right word. If it goes to a different word, the word which was supposed to get the products, for example, the Panadols or whatever you ordered, they won't have the programs on time. Okay, then right time. Right time is making sure that the products reach the destination at the right time so that uh, programs at the facility will take place without them reaching at the right time. Okay, there will be no programs at the facility. Then right cost. As you are buying the product, you should be able to buy them at the right cost. Why? Because you want to prevent uh over budgeting and over spending in your budget at your facility so if you are the in charge for example you have allocated a certain amount of money to certain supplies at the hospital you should make sure that those supplies are bought at the right cost why we want to make sure that one we don't get wrong uh, products and then we don't want to overspend because if you overspend you might spend too much money buying only buying one type of product while the other things they won't be bought so you'll be looked at as someone who is uh, not a good manager. Okay, so these are the six rights. And if you have questions, please leave a comment in the description and please like my channel.